What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out there at Action Sports Bar and Grill, Action Food Truck in Kent, Washington, with another day in the life. Follow me to work. Don't mind my voice being shot today. I was yelling at the Seahawks game a couple of nights ago. How terrible my team was playing. Absolute trash they played like. And I lost my voice screaming at them most of the game. Yeah. Uh, today's video is a catered wedding event. Um, point of view. Kind of behind the scenes on the truck. I've mentioned this before. I love doing catered events. Um, going out on location. Uh, sharing these special days and doing these special days with people. It's uh, it's just a lot of fun and the right energy. So I love being on the food truck and catered events are probably my favorite events to do on the food truck. Uh, weddings probably, uh, <laughs> I love doing them, but they are a little higher stress because it's such a big day. And anytime a lady is going to let you be a part of her special day like that, uh, they're expecting, um, kind of perfection. <laughs> So it, take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes they can be great. Sometimes they can be a bit of a nightmare. Fortunately, uh, this service was a breeze. It was for a long time friend of the bar uh, and big supporter of the bar. So we were very happy to come out and uh, do the wedding for her son and uh, daughter-in-law. Um, successful service. Uh, this is about probably 30 minutes of a, what was a 45 minute service. We had 80 people to get through. So, um, for us, uh, depending on how you want to do your service, um, we can usually get that done in about a half an hour. The other thing that is nice about, um, catered events is, uh, it gives us a chance to do things we don't always get a chance to do on the food truck. Um, we have a lot of things in our repertoire that we do and items on the food truck that you can select for your catered events. And so it's nice because we get to do some stuff we don't always get to do. Uh, this particular event, they went with a variation of our barbecue plate. Actually, they just went with our barbecue plate, which is two proteins and two sides. Um, spare ribs is one of the Proteins we will do as an upgrade because uh, they are more labor intensive and a, a little more difficult to execute. Uh, we also do baby backs and we also will do brisket um, for uh, an additional charge on those. We also offer chicken and pork as well. So uh, we have several proteins you can choose from and we're easy, whatever you want for the most part. Um, if we can do it, we'll give it to you. So uh, the plate. This plate looked fantastic. It had spare ribs, our grilled mac and cheese. Um, it had the smoked chicken wings, and then it had um, Caesar salads, which, you know, some people want to use a Caesar salad <laughs> as one of their sides. With them collard greens, I would never do the, I would always do collards over Caesar salad, but you know, whatever. Whatever you guys want, we're going to make it happen. I've talked about catering as a pro tip in the past on, on other videos, and it is absolutely something that you want to have uh, a focus in. That's still a pro tip. But my pro tip for this particular video is within these communications that you have for catered clients, over communicate that's my pro tip over communicate when it comes to catering you can never have too much communication and my personal preference is that these are email communications because it leaves a trail and it's very clear people have to be very clear about what it is that they want and their expectations are when they have to write them down there's no miss you know communicating or misconstruing what you have to say because you wrote it to me and we still talk but that extra layer of having an email to be like, hey, on the 12th, you told me that you didn't want to do collards. You wanted to do Caesar, even though I said you should do collards. Uh, you know, having that protects you as a um, as the vendor, but it also makes sure that your guest is sure about what they're getting. So sometimes guests will want 
us to come and do a drop off service and just bring the food and drop it off. And we have no problem doing that, but we want to communicate to you guys that what's the pitfalls of that rather than having the whole truck show up. Or we might tell you what's the pitfalls of having the whole truck show up instead of just doing a drop and go service. So in these communications with your client, sometimes it's going to be a little bit of educational on both sides. You're going to be trying to learn what uh, they really, really want, and you're going to be trying to explain and teach to them what you can actually really, really execute. And then you you go from there because you definitely don't want to over promise and under deliver. You definitely don't want to have a mix up where you get on location and you brought a bunch of beans and they were like, no, I said anything but beans. Well, I had bad reception or I couldn't hear you or something like that. So my pro tip in this, and I'm glad that our event manager is so proficient at doing this, is over communicate. You can never go wrong communicating too much. As always, I appreciate y'all tuning in, taking the time to check the videos out. If you like, please do give us a subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. Stop by the bar or the food truck if you're in town, and if not, then we'll see you on the next one. That's pretty damn close, actually, Mark. I think that's pretty damn close, honestly. Because that shit is heavy. And it's on based on weight. Not really like the size of our hands. And that'd be that's perfect. That skirt right there. Even that's looking good. As soon as we get these tables, it's probably going to be like eight people a table. Okay. You know, six people a table. Yeah, I pay for them. You want to check one of these? No, no, I already have one. Was it good? Yeah, Not over tender? No, that shit is so good. I feel like we better sample one more here. And it was still good, huh? These look great. Scott, would you open that one for me real quick? Thank you, madam. We'll just wait for them to show up. Okay. I'm standing around doing nothing. I could be cheesing these, and you could be starting on three new ones. Yeah. Bang. Oh, you the man. Yeah. And 
Uh, you can just keep bumping them. Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's, he's a tremendous amount of food. Yeah. Just gonna tell people ahead of time. Hope, hope you're hungry. What's that, honey? Yes. This is the slow ass thermometer is the only problem with it. Okay, we're over. Uh, well, this is why I was like, we should definitely use our boxes because we might not be able to fit just any old box. It's a lot. You want to cover it? It's just a little bit of brown on it. Yeah, like those ones you did are perfect. Uh, yeah, you can just, yeah, yeah, it's perfect to start. Bingo. Uh, let's get these on here. Uh, I, I want I will switch out yeah as okay. soon as this one is done cool. as soon as I plate these last ones I will switch it out okay but go ahead and keep going with the max yeah I just need one to sell as fast as possible Yes, ma'am. I'll get those two out first. Yeah. Bang. Yeah, at least. Yeah, I'll take that next pan about now.
Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. But I'll, I'll do, actually I'll do it Mario. you just do the max. This one's guys. cheese them. Say bride and groom?
I hate this thermometer. It's hiding somewhere. Yeah, whenever, yeah. Okay. Well, you just keep hitting the max okay. still too, because okay. that's going to be holding us. But now you got them stacked up, I think we're good now. Okay. We can knock this table out quick like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's the ones we want. Dang. Shit, ooh. Hey, how many more for this last table? Four more, okay. You said one more, my dear? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all we got. Good mac and cheese, bro. I don't even feel bad for you, player. You're playing yourself. Mm, Let's go ahead and just order what, you, what we got. All right, take one day off. <laughs> right? <laughs> right behind you, hot. I eat this one later. Totally. Yeah, he burnt. But good for me. What happened? 
How many you got there, Sky? Okay. Yeah, I said, this one next. that one next. Yeah. I'm getting in another pan here in the Beautiful. I got one right underneath me. Okay. That's your next pan. Mm -hmm. I'll take this little guy here. That's a big old fat daddy there. I'm a hook. I'm a bless everybody. I want people to talk about it. Oh Heavy, heavy, heavy duty, yeah. heavy duty plates right here. Okay, that was that seven, yeah? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I was like, I see that one steaming. Chew. Okay, then what I want to do is, after I get those three, I want to take your, um, Take that rack of ribs and put it right where that one is. That that ribs over there. Okay, yeah. That looks just perfect. Yeah, I sure do. Yep, yep, yep. I'll take those. Uh, take that check. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I was like, am I, am I tripping? Am I removing? <laughs> Bang. 
You know what we need to do too is we need to switch those two. And then we don't have to keep reaching over each other. Bang. Now you got direct access. Okay. Put anything in there? Uh, let's put those, um, though that full rack of ribs, let's put that one in. Uh, yeah, let's put that one in there. Just so with the space is still taken too. Okay. They back? Oh. Smack the shit out of these ribs. Yeah, that's hot. Mm -hmm. I like my cloudy. They're my own cloudy. Yeah, those are definitely on point. Is there an on switch too? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like my answer is yes. I'm gonna assume so. Mm-hmm. I saw some roofs that look like that. They're back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good enough. Sell them. What I do? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> A nice mahogany on them. I don't know where that temperature is, but we're gonna I got that it. every fucking time. Yeah, yeah. Let's mark it. 25? 55. Yeah, come on with it. We got more of them. statue you're like it has a move still okay yeah definitely a statue. he'd be going crazy that's seven oh one more yeah that's good okay What happened? Oh. Okay. It's like touching a napkin after you've been touching this. It's going to show, so. But I hear you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, see? Any touch. One finger. Yeah. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. There's the one more. Eight on that one. Wings is ready. We ready, ready.
I gotta try one just to see where we're at. Cause they don't look so good. I just wanna make sure they taste good. Make sure they taste all right. Yeah. Naked. I'd pay for that. Yeah. This guy, this guy is gonna be our taster here. I mean, didn't even need sauce. Yeah. Perfect. I need all of those that you got there, man. 